So we're out here this morning with Angfa Queensland. It's an Australian and New Guinea Native uh, Fishers Association. And we're out here at Hilliards Creek doing a survey. And I've picked a spot a bit off the beaten track from where everyone else is, but she's a beauty. Little billabong here. There's some fast flowing water through here. So we'll do some water tests. I've got four traps out. One in the fast bit over here. One out here. One down there. And one kind of in the middle of this little billabong here. So first test we'll do TDS. Eight oh seven. <laughs> what? Never seen that one. Eight oh nine. Eight oh six. Quite a high TDS. And let's go for temperature. Let's go over to temp now. And well, that would appear to be about right. We're right, going to do pH test here. Oh, shaky hands today. That's what happens when you skip breakfast, kids. Your blood sugar gets low. So, looking at this, let me get the sunlight behind me because in person it looks different. I'd say we're about 7.2 on the pH, maybe 7.3 or 4. So then it was time to pull in the nets and I filled up this little glass viewing tank that I've got. We can clearly see here some hardy heads, some gudgeons, and some type of shrimp. I'm not an expert on shrimp at the moment, unfortunately. So after counting up all of the fish, I had a pretty good day out and along the way I decided to get some underwater footage because this spot was just so beautiful and pristine and clear. So I got some underwater footage of that while I was there. I've uploaded that 30 minute video separately and you can find that link in the top right corner. Because the water was flowing so fast it was a bit hard to see anything that was underwater. There were a few fish that went past. There were so many hardy heads, which was great, because I'd never really caught any before. So I put the other camera back underwater for a while, and unfortunately it was just gambusia everywhere. These are also known as mosquito fish, and they're another invasive species. There are gudgeons in here in, as well in this footage, but unfortunately the gambusia just outcompete all the native fish for food. It was a really enjoyable day out with Angfa. I do recommend that if you are into this kind of thing, definitely sign up with your local branch. And if you're outside of Australia, your country probably has something like this too. That's all for this episode. And a reminder, if you do want to follow me, I do put up daily videos on TikTok. I'll see you next time.